What's going on, you <laughs> ballistic barracks, ball sack, boiling buddy humpers? <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak, not so. Live from the lair. I was trying to throw <laughs> the you hell off. hell was that? <laughs> Dude, I was trying to throw you off, and you, you like handled that like a champ. I'm Gleeb Glapp, and that's floop de who <laughs> Fucking weirdo, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the show. Uh, we got a, a great story for you today from the sweaty fat guy himself, Thumper. Uh, with the ER, not the two R's. Uh, and this is military hewer, not safe for YouTube. So we're going to have to... We're going to talk in YouTube. We're going to youtube it. Yep. While I was at Osan in the early 2000s, we had a female who made it her mission in life to get every rooster in the unit, uh -huh. if you know what I mean. And that's Korea. Yes. He's in Korea. And probably as many from the other units as she could in one year. Listen, uh, this is standard. I've seen this. I think th I have seen some of these young enlisted just go nuts in on-post housing or in, yeah. you know, Even BAQ. the good ones. Like Gazowitz. Remember when you were, went out to the bar with her and she's like, Hey, Soren, I'm going to suck that dude's dick off. <laughs> I was like, okay, hey, hey. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Make sure you use a straw. <laughs> hey. That was a good soldier, though. Mm. She was a good soldier. And listen, being a good soldier doesn't mean you have to be first all the time and you have to succeed at everything. You just get on your feet and you try. Yeah. That's it. That's, yeah. that's the secret. Yeah. And when shit goes wrong, you don't give up. That's right. Yeah. You don't make excuses. Are you the kind of person who's run out of feelings to hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Then we have the Redonkulous swag for you. And we have multiple locations where you can get it. Go to the Stream Elements store or Crypto Fashion and embrace your inner fat punisher. <laughs> because after all, there's a little bad pop in all of us. Even your mother. Shirts, stickers, mugs, and hats are on sale now. Your support helps keep us independent from big tech and keeps this life-saving train on the tracks. Links are in the meat gazer box. <laughs> We're going to call this one Amanda. Amanda Hug and Kiss. She was an E3, and even E7s were hitting that. Oh. Isn't that frowned upon? Yes. One guy who lived next door to me and yours truly did not partake in that Petri dish. <laughs> but... Listen, no, no. I mean, literally, whole <laughs> units were shut down for, like, uh, Ghana Maria. Oh, God, because of that one chick that... What, uh, no, well, one chick. Now, I, I have never... I have never... I've heard the stories from okay, over there back right, so in the day. So this didn't happen in your unit. No, this didn't happen in my unit. But there was a unit on the line in Korea. Okay. And one of these traveling entertainers decides to show up <laughs> and... Six, uh, eight days later, the whole unit had to stand down. They had to bring in another fucking unit to pull their duties for a week while all of them got rotted off the range, got some pills, some shots, and a harsh talking to. And a couple guys <laughs> lost rank over that. You now have herpes. That is what happens when you're like, you have a whole mob of dudes just dick thinking. Yep. It's like a whole bunch of like young bulls standing there like, Oh, I'm going to hit some of that. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I woo. oh my God. <laughs> it's not a good way to uh, to, right. to fill your time. No, no. And, and this, this particular story oh. happened in the late 70s. And I heard it from my my platoon sergeant when okay. I was in the 9th ID. So, so That was like the tail end of the free love days. So like it, nobody was bagging it back uh, then. Oh, I mean, in Korea, man, it was a filth pit back then. Oh, God. Humans are filthy. Dirty filth. Wow. You know but what yeah. you get there, man. Gonorrhea. No. <laughs> I mean, out of 150 people in the unit, uh, we're talking somewhere north of 100 of actual positive gonorrhea cases. Ugh. Everyone else in our hall did. There you go. You're going to wind up with the herpagonocephalitis, man. She took on 40 guys in our unit alone. That's the more cock girl. Yeah, uh, somebody's uh, taking the express train. Stop! Don't touch me there! This is my no-no square! Stop! 
<laughs> wow. Who knows how many on base? She made a tape with one guy. Oh, my God. An E5 who worked in her duty section, and somehow it was passed around <laughs> like something else. I mean, this is a career-ending event here for these men. <laughs> the thing is, yeah. I, I have seen this happen where dozens of guys get their careers impacted. A couple guys got kicked out. Nothing happens to the sleuthitude. Mm-hmm. The mat, the mattress back that of course made this all possible. No, no we got to have our uh, our diversity hires. Yeah, or diversity I, volunteers. I when I was in civil affairs, there was probably half a dozen occasions where I had to pull in all the dudes in the unit, sit them down, shut the door, and go. All right. If I hear any more of this worm pile shit happening at the BAQ barracks or hotel. <laughs> I'm going to smoke all you until you have hernias. I will fuck you all up. I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, man. Because your you know, you're 40 yourselves are going to thank me for this because mm-hmm. you're being a fucking idiot. Yeah, I mean, that is one of the, the problems with your sexual peak arriving at a time when you're also at your physical best for the military. Like, oh. <laughs> you put those two things together, it doesn't Ooh. end well for a lot of these dudes. No, no, and the one that told me about this was another female. Ah, she's like, "Hey, Sergeant Pop, just want to make sure you know uh, what's going on." The BAQ, <laughs> uh, you know, barracks is is out of control. I'm like, "What? Out of control? What's going on?" Such and such sucks six dudes' dicks, and like everyone watched it. I'm like, "Oh shit, that's gonna stop." <laughs> the minute somebody gets caught and they say, "Well, they forced me," people are going to prison. Yep, that's people all it takes. are going to fucking prison. It doesn't matter if it's complete bullshit. Somebody will still go to prison because she doesn't want to take responsibility. Correct. I have no idea how this tape became a DVD complete with graphics, chapters, and 70s era Ornpay music playing softly in the background. Found chicken down down. No idea. That's how grunts work. They make it better. That is like one grunt 101. This place sucks. Let's make it better. <laughs> he says, no idea. Really? No, my nose is not growing. It's just like that. <laughs> yeah! Woo! That's why we love having you on, man. That's that's the way you put the idiots on blast. <laughs> I, I like I liked that attitude. Here's the really interesting part. I was already interested. It's just so we're clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. The video she made was in a wedding dress. She took a facial in it and a pearl necklace across her chesticulars as well while wearing the dress. Why a wedding dress? Well, because when she was going to PCS back to Texas, her fiancé was waiting there to put a ring on it. Oh, my God! Wow! <sighs> wow. She did get married in that dress. <sighs> Yikes. Wow. Nobody somebody should have sent that dude that that tape. And this has been today's I bet she didn't even wash out her snot sleeve so that he could taste the forty other uh, dudes from the base as soon as she got home. God, that's disgusting! That's disgusting! Stop! <laughs> Anybody like a little extra horseradish on their Arby's beef and cheddar in a catcher's mitt? Oh God. God! That is terrible. Terrible. And I met another E3 a year later who knew her but wasn't at Osan with us. Huh. Well, word got back to her co-star <laughs> about the DVD, and the dude blamed me. <laughs> yeah, naturally. Yeah, that's it's totally his fault. No, no, you created the production. He just made it better. Yeah. And then the dumbass McFuckstick fucktarded Nanner Twat co-star emailed me on the military email about it. Oh my god. He was definitely less than brilliant. <laughs> Low end of the ASVAB scores. <laughs> it sounds like he came from Red Trash Land. But wait, there's more. <laughs> she had a friend who was an orangutan looking biatcha. <laughs> and she had huge friggin' jugs that she would pop out in our unit club with minimal tequila required. <laughs> Imagine two sandbags with nipples on the very bottom with cantaloupes in them swaying around in the breeze over her muffin top. She was also trying to collect the whole set <laughs> of STDs. <laughs> oh. Herpiconocyphilates, go! I choose you! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. I was in the middle of a really screwed up divorce, but there was no damn way I was going to give either of these trollops the sweaty fat rooster. Nope. Besides my minuscule, tiny, half-eaten, tic tac sized member, <laughs> what's going on? A oh, little self-deprecation really goes a long way. Wow. I'm going to read that again just because it's so funny. Besides my minuscule, tiny, half-eaten, tic-tac-sized member was going in two Russian sloots, Masha and Svetlana. So he had a clitoris stick. I shit you not. Hey, the Russian ladies and the Ukrainian ladies? Mwah, chef's kiss? Uh, ten, some, sometimes. A 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. Uh, when these two military can't understand normal thinkers made a run at getting a sticky wet deposit of my genetics. Ugh. Now, way back in 1990, when I was accused of harassing these USAF can't understand normal thinkers by saying hello and hi, I made the conscious decision to not bang bitches who wear green. When I was in my lower enlisted days, I think I uh, I tooled around with like two women on post, but they were on, you know, on, I think one worked for finance, the other one worked as a clerk typist. That was it. And I, and literally I had my platoon sergeant pull me aside when he found out. He's like. Mm-hmm. Well, you were learning the ropes at that point. Yeah. I did exactly what he told me. I'm like, yep. And I cut that shit off because I, I don't need the problems. No. Because all it takes is one person to get upset. Somebody didn't call back. Next thing you know, you're off to the races. That's right. I would not let any female into my room. And if she did walk in there, I would not allow her to close the door. That's the way I do it. I think Mike Pence heard about me at some point because I would <clears> do about <throat> anything with a chick off base. But wearing green? <laughs> fuck no. 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 A man, duh, stood in the hallway trying to get me to bend her over, and I would not do it. She tried for nearly two hours, making hints, asking to come in and sit down. Even said she wanted some rooster. Nope. Shut the door in their face. Then, her big titty, great ape-looking friend tried. (laughs) She waltzed into my room while my door was open, closed it, and sat on my bed while I was doing some performance reports. I got up opened the door, sat on my chair across the room from her and waited for her to get bored. She even pulled her chesticles out and unzipped her pants. Oh, my God. Nope, not going to do it. God damn. Uh, Women this forward have a Petri dish of disease between their thighs. So never, ever, ever. Kudos to this guy because it's hard to turn away when they're Really throwing the poon at you that hard. When they're willing, but hey, if you got two Russian hotties waiting in the wings, why yeah. don't you bother with this? That's right. Especially if you know they're dirty. <sighs> Valid. <laughs> like I need a dick worm from two sleuths that sucked people off during the chem warfare exercises. <laughs> a dick apparently slides right up under a mask. <laughs> I didn't know that those were designed that way. <laughs> okay. I, you know. So I know. He, well, I mean, the dick has a drinking straw, and that you know can go into the mask. I don't know. Maybe it works. Chem warfare, reproductive science experiment. I could see where you would get it confused. Okay, so I have an old hard drive from back then that might or might not have some of that footage on it from her wedding dress cheating because she's a hewer tape. Hmm. She did have a nice rack, a decent posterior, and your basic bitch average chick face. In the sandbox, she'd be a 10. In Korea, she was a 6. But in Konus, maybe a 5. If I can even find the hard drive and get it working, I'll take some screenshots for you. (laughs) Now, listen, I'm going to be honest. Um, If I had footage like that of a lady that was marrying another dude, I would probably anonymously find a way to get that footage to that person just as a man-to-man common courtesy. Yeah, because dudes who have no idea what they're getting into, they're going to hate you for it in the beginning when you tell them the truth about these women, but they will thank you for it in the end because they know you're being short-term mean to be long-term nice. Yep. I was not going to save any pics of the King Kong's Biatcha-looking chick even if I had them. 
Beware of King Kong. This is not the email I mentioned the other night, but since we're telling stories, I figured I'd share. <laughs> wow, shit. I mean, and listen, every single dude in the military has stories like this. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a very common occurrence. Yeah. I mean, uh, they call them barracks horse for a reason because they've been doing this ever since they put up barracks. Yep. I'm su- I'm sure during the Revolutionary War there was a, you know, wandering dick sucker. <laughs> All right? I'm just saying. <laughs> it sounds like a chick band. <laughs> I'm just we saying. We are a wandering dick sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I mean, it's such a common occurrence. It's probably it's been going on <laughs> since, you know, they invented war. We are wandering dick sucker. One, two, three, four. More cock. <laughs> More cock. <laughs> I don't think you're using those drumsticks correctly. What? <laughs> <laughs> there's your uh, there's your successor to the Dixie Chicks. You got wandering dick sucker. <laughs> the wandering dick sucker. <laughs> That'd be a great band. <laughs> Oh man, that album's gonna go double pearl. Pearl, yeah, that's pretty funny. Just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done here. Send us your stories, dudes, and don't forget to go to Ticketmaster.com and get your tickets for Wandering Dick Sucker today. 